Hello everybody, and welcome back to Digital Combat Simulator World. Hold on, it's lagging a little bit here. There we go. So, as you can see, we are, well, actually, we're not back in Las Vegas, I forgot I was going to mention that. Um, so, a couple of days ago, the same day I did the F-15 air-to-air -air video, for anybody who watched that, um, I also did another F-15 video here on the Nevada map, where I uh, flew off, flew off from, from some Air Force base, flew over Vegas, went to the Hoover Dam, and then back into Vegas for a landing. Uh, it was about a 50-minute flight to perform, and then I re-recorded a commentary track over the flight track. Uh, we watch it later. And um, that did, I, I replayed it and my, did not a single second of my voice was recorded. I had double checked my uh, microphone was plugged in and that it was set to record properly in, in Shadow Play, which is my primary recording software. But I didn't check to make sure that it was recording the right audio input. So, yeah. Anyways, as you can see here, we have a Huey. Oh, hold on. There we go. That's why I did it. It's a little noisy in here. Um, I am very, very not good at flying the Huey just yet. Uh, but we're going to give it a shot here in So, I excuse any crashes, sudden engine fires, you know, stuff like that. Uh, because I'm totally new to this. Forward one, airborne. Okay, it's kind of a lot of games you can get right. Sorry, this is the voice of the way I do it. But, uh, just take a quick look at the rotor uh, here. This guy has got some light controls. Here we go, left, open tips. Right, open tips. Forward, and the whole thing is tips like absolute madness. Not a lot of games get that right. That's the whole thing. I'm going to really go there. Probably broke something, but alright, so that was good. Give it a second back power.
So I think problem there was I I think I increased power too much and that will cause you lots of trouble. Um, so yeah, just doing a quick restart of the same mission here. Just kind of keeps us back in there. I'd love to fly down the strip in the Huey. Uh, that's kind of my, my goal for today. Um, let's see if the game feels like I'm, my skills are up to the task. I have to adjust a control axis real quick. Um, I actually have two rudders set up for this aircraft. Uh, and both of them, I have one for the twist on my throttle, and or one for the twist on my joystick, rather, and one um, the kind of like paddle thingy on my, uh, on my throttle, that's it. Um, as you can see here, I actually have a fairly significant curve on this in the, um, whatchamacallit, on, this is on the throttle one, and I don't have anything of the sort here. So, this, this, what I, yes, this is what I want. And I actually want a sharper curve on this. I don't want to be able to do very much with my throttle, or with my twist rudder, but I want to be able to use it. In the event that I do need to take my hands. that that was too much of a th this is all the part of learning and uh, really the part of this game uh, is this kind of stuff though let's try let's remove that saturation and let's inc just to keep increasing the curve Problem is. Uh, I was wondering why I was having uncommanded rudder inputs on the aircraft, and this is absolutely why. So if I change that and do a curve like this, this should, yeah, this will allow the still allows me to command the different maneuvers, but it doesn't it doesn't put the uh, these markers at a weird spot. So I need to undo that slider and then I think I need to this is this one. So we want a sha we want a very shallow curve at first. So, so the, the idea here is that the early command on the rudder doesn't do a lot of change to the input. Like, you can see here, like, I'm just kind of barely tapping it, but we're... You fairly quickly start getting into pretty dramatic changes in the pitch, so... I think that's what I want for that. So let's set this to curvature 20, just to give us a good reference point. If it'll let me... Okay, we're doing 19. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to set this one... to 19. Oh, that one only do 20. Fuck it, that one's going to 20. So... With
I probably should have thought of that sooner. I'm going to reduce the sound a little bit. I'm just going to do an overall volume cut to like 60%. That way I can... There we go. It should hopefully be a little bit more audible. Oh. I do actually like this camera too because it does still let me see the, the bell Huey part of the, uh, the pedals, which allows me to tell where they are in the position so I can find out. So that alarm, by the way, is the low, it's the RPM limit, or RPM limit. Basically, I'm either going to have too much or not enough RPM on the road. Um, yeah, RPM limit. I think it might be stress on the road. Come on, I like over the controls for a second, and it just kills me. Oh, God. Oh, this is gonna suck. I got further. <laughs> Slightly. And I actually do want to check something out real quick, uh, just before we, uh, we get any further. So it's something I've been somewhat curious about uh, in DCS, and I'm not sure about. So, um, a lot of this is definitely me learning everything, so I'm just going to turn off those markers first. Oh god, I'm going to do that. Let's see. that panel. You know what? I'm just going to restart. I don't think either one of those were bad things, I just... I don't need to be throwing... Okay, why is that suddenly back? <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Well, it's very obviously... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's... Well, it's telling what my throttle's doing, and I'd left my throttle in a enhanced position, so... Go me! And that's another restart. I'm gonna give this uh, one more go after I check the, uh, the other item I wanted to check real quick, and then we'll just take it. I'm gonna leave that item there, I guess. We'll be able to just watch my various inputs. Actually, is it... I, I do want to check and see. Let's see if I can search. Access. No, I can't. Okay. Um, show. Let's try that. There it is. I don't know why I break the goal up here. I can press the end point. Why the crew status is up there either. But whatever. Um, 
be able to talk to the ground cube. Sorry, it's gonna get a little noisy. I just had to uh, respond to a Discord message.
can either make it downtown or die horribly in this building. Uh, I'm going to uh, wrap this up for today. Um, oh, uh, I'm not sure if I said this. Let me mention real quick. Um, even though in this particular case and in most of the other cases where you're going to see me flying and doing, um, I'm going to start from, uh, from the runway or already start there. Um, just because the cold start system for this aircraft has like 47 steps or something like that, which I don't mind, and I've run through all the steps I've successfully taken on from a cold start. Uh, it's just not the most interesting thing to have to do at the beginning of every mission, so we'll see what I'm going to do. sucked, but we're not dead. <laughs> uh, hey, trucker, help a buddy out? Maybe? Oh, my tail's back there. The rotor is somewhere. It's either in... No, I think the rotor... Nope, those are the tail fins. Um... The rotors probably killed some grandma somewhere. Um. <laughs> Damn it, it was going so well. Look how close we got to downtown, though. We're like a couple blocks away. Oh, man, that's, that's so cool. All right. Well, I am going to wrap it up here. I did want to point out one neat little thing. Yes. Uh, is there a... Oh, is there an extinguisher button? Ah, fuck it. We're only a little on. No, actually, we're not on fire anymore. Alright, well. Might as well, uh. Stow that. Oh, oh, I need to turn it off. Okay, we're just gonna click that off real quick. And we're gonna open this bad boy up. And we're going to control E three times. That's kind of funny because the it's aligned to the helicopter, not to the ground. So, yeah. My co-pilot is underground and I'm just kind of flying up there. Oh, there's the rotor. It's, it's uh, inside the helicopter. Lovely. But, uh, hey, everybody's alive. And uh, just real quick. Oh, I can't do it. The uh, That green glass there on top of the helicopter actually does properly tint everything green from the inside, which I, I quite appreciate. Um, interestingly enough, there's no civilian traffic coming down this highway. I wonder if it, like, knows. Yeah. Either way, <laughs> that's, uh, that's enough of the Huey today. I'm going to continue um, practicing my flying, try and actually get uh, places over long distances, kind of get see if I can find some good tips or tricks for that. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me.